My name is Jonathan Goforth. This video is on the law of agency duties. There are six client level fiduciary duties. This is something that you've got to know to pass some of the real estate exam questions. There's a variety of different questions that can come out of this one short video. Um, so my name is Jonathan Goforth. Uh, to keep real estate commissions happy, I'm to disclose that I'm a licensed realtor in Missouri and Kansas with Keller Williams Platinum Partners, and I have my broker's license in Missouri. I've been a realtor for 25 years, and it's my honor to be listed in Forbes magazine for the past three years in a row as one of the top market leaders in the country in real estate. So let's dive into this. Uh, oh, please subscribe and turn on your notifications bell and give this one a like. And then after you get your real estate license, come back to my other videos because everything else on my channel is about how to make you a lot of money as a real estate agent, how to be a successful agent and have a huge career. Let's cover these six things. At the end of this, screenshot it so you've got this handy um, in your phone. Number one is care. So these are six client level fiduciary duties. There are six of them and the first one is care. You must exercise knowledge and skill. Number two, obedience. You are to follow legal instructions. So these are phrases that I want you to memorize that could become incorporated into a real estate exam question. So you are to follow legal instructions. That's obedience. Number three is accounting. So you're to be accountable for the earnest money, your actions and documents. For example, um, earnest, the earnest deposit check. Let's say your buyer gives you the earnest deposit check for you to go drop it off where it goes. So you are to be accountable and go take it in a timely manner, which is immediately, <laughs> and get that deposited. Uh, documents would be getting things signed in a timely manner. That means as fast as you can possibly do it. Um, another example of documents would be it's your seller. The house is titled in a trust and uh, your client asked you to take the trust over the title company. They photocopy the pages they need and then you are accountable to that. You take the trust right back over to your seller. Number four, loyalty. Do what's in your client's best interest. Number five is disclosure. This is a big one. You're going to probably see at least one question on the exam about this one topic. Disclosure is a fiduciary duty and you are to fully disclose all material facts regarding a transaction. Number six, confidentiality. This is a uh, client level fiduciary duty is confidentiality. A question you might get, when does your confidentiality, the responsibility of that, when does that cease? And an answer, one of the answer options would be at closing. That at closing, um, you are no longer responsible for uh, confidentiality to your client. That would be wrong. The answer is forever. What I want you to memorize there, protect your client forever when it comes to their confidentiality. That does not stop at closing. Screenshot that. That's your six client level fiduciary duties. That is a great foundation to be studying right there as you prepare to take the real estate exam. Uh, I have a lot of other questions to help you. I'm going to put links to those in the description of this video. So click up there where the title is, and it might even say more. Click more, and it will pull up a whole bunch of links. I've got test questions, um, national questions, math questions, all kinds of stuff in there to help you pass. And then after you pass, come back, check out all my other videos on how to make a lot of money as a real estate agent. So please subscribe, give this one a like, and uh, have fun studying.